in the next few days, Eloud Kipchoge will attempt to run the first ever sub two hour marathon. That's 26.2 miles in less than 120 minutes. If he's successful, this will make history as the greatest feat in long distance running. So why is this a big deal? Well, people have speculated that this may be possible for a long time, but no one has actually done it. In fact, the closest anyone got to running a sub two hour marathon was Kipchoge himself. In 2017, he and two other athletes attempted to break two hours at Monza in Italy. Kipchoge came in with a time of two hours and 25 seconds. This conquest is analogous to the four minute mile barrier in the 50s. At that time, some thought it may be possible to run a four minute mile, but no one had improved on a 401 for more than nine years. In 1954, Roger Bannister, with a modern approach to training, changed the world's perspective by running a 359, proving it possible. Since then, more than 1,000 people have managed that, with the record for the mile improving now to 343. This pattern holds true elsewhere too, a seemingly insurmountable goal standing unconquered for hundreds of years until a small group of individuals against the odds manage the impossible, thrusting all of humanity into the realm of possibility. In the decades following, what was once an unachievable dream for everyone can become an impressive achievement for hundreds of people annually. So a sub two hour marathon, what's involved? Well, that's 26.2 miles in less than two hours. So that works out at a pace of four minutes 34 per mile. To give some perspective, the fastest anyone who'd ever run a mile back in 1855 was four minutes and 28. So Elwood has to run just off that pace for 26 consecutive miles. That's fast. How fast? So right now I am running at my comfortable pace. That's about 6.2 miles per hour. And I can run for 10,000 meters like this. That's about six miles. However, if I bump the treadmill up to about nine miles an hour, at that speed, I can no longer breathe or speak comfortably. My lungs and my heart are going too fast and I can no longer have a conversation. However, this speed is absolutely nothing compared to the devastating speed that Kipchoge will need to run. That's 13.1 miles an hour. Let's see what that looks like. This is crazy. Dearie me! The man's a machine. Let's try that again. At this pace, I wasn't even able to endure 40 seconds. Maybe it's just me. So, we invited some other runners to try. similar results. In fact, the most anyone could handle the superhuman speed was just over one minute. I'll speak in a second. <laughs> Jeez. So is this possible? Well, if anyone can do this, it's Kipchoge. Eloud Kipchoge is the greatest marathon runner of all time. Olympic gold medalist, world marathon champion, marathon world record. He's won everything. His consistency and pace are simply unrivaled. The last attempt at the sub two hour marathon, he was just one second off the pace per mile. So what's different this time? Well, Eloud is in better shape than ever, winning the London Marathon this year and crushing the world record in competition by 78 seconds in Berlin last year. That's the biggest jump in the world record for over 50 years. 
if he does run sub two in Vienna, the IAAF, the governing body for athletics, won't recognize this as an official new world record due to the way the pace runners are rotated. Nevertheless, breaking two hours pushes the sport forward decades in one giant leap, cementing Kipchoge's place in history as the greatest of all time. You can watch the event live on the Ineos 159 Challenge YouTube channel. There is a window of time where he will actually run. I've left a link down below where you can stay up to date. I'm going to Vienna to cheer him on and watch him cross the line. And if he does actually do this, I'll have another video out covering some of the details of how this was achieved. Fingers crossed.